Hi there. Hi there. This is just a project which came to uh, mind very quickly. So I'm doing it because if I don't, it will it will be lie around and evaporate. And it's about a man called James Edward Huff, who for many years was the boss of a British record company called Edison Bell. It was called lots of things, but Edison Bell is the best known one. And um, he began to make cylinders and import phonographs in 1890. And he ran the company, um, and, well, he ran the company until he died, actually, in 1925. <clears throat> And he was born in uh, 1849, so you know he, he had a quite a long uh, innings. Um, now, um, also, I want to dedicate this video to Bjorn's uh, records because he's looked at a lot of my videos, made comments, and I've looked at his some of his videos and haven't made so many comments. But the connection is that that that, that uh, Edison Bell winner made a lot of Rolf Winner success records that were sold in Sweden where Björn knows about and researches all this stuff uh, and so we've often commented about it so now Björn can hear the guy who made the records the James Huff talking because it's a, a record he made late in life uh, towards the end of 1924 when his family persuaded him to make a speech record he didn't want to do that and um, they said, yeah, but you know, you, you've been in the, you, you are regarded as the father of the trade because he'd been in business of sound recording since 1890, which is a long time. So he said, yeah, okay, he said, I'll, I'll do it. And at the same time, um, there's a booklet came out, uh, which I'd never seen before. The record itself is quite elusive, but I've never seen the booklet before. Um, and there's a link to a web page that's got that booklet a completely scanned and OCR'd so you can read the booklet and look at all the pictures and uh, now you will hear um, the uh, James Edward Huff talking and there'll be a transcription uh, because his voice isn't terribly clear at times so uh, this one's for you Bjorn and uh, take it easy and all the best bye Here is the transcription of James E. Huff's record presented to various members of the gramophone trade in late 1924, early 25. Huff was born in Failsworth near Manchester in 1849 and his local accent is still unmistakable. A few words have eluded us but the gist of the whole thing is quite clear. You are reported to be the father of the trade, I have been told. And you are. Indeed, it is your duty to give us a little fatherly advice. For over 30 years, I have been closely identified with the gramophone industry. And in that time, I've had many fights, played many games, seen many things, won many friends, among whom I count you in particular. The House of Edison Bell, as you are aware, is the pioneer of the gramophone industry in this country. During this long experience, we have seen many developments. It is a far cry down the passage of time to the early days of the phonograph, the tin foil record, the wax cylinder, the duplicated cylinder, the gold molded cylinder, the single-sided disc, the double-sided disc, are some of the many milestones one sees on the way. And there are others which crowd upon the mental vision as we contemplate the past the history of our industry. I say nothing of machines and accessories pertaining thereto. Of these, in these later years too, has come another product one which is closely allied to the gramophone. I refer, of course, to radio. The House of Edison Bell was quick to grasp, develop, and improve upon the many accessories required for this new company. And today we are in a unique position in this direction. The best advice I can give you, fellow, fellow traders, is always to play the game and play clean. And if you have to fight 
and you sometimes will to hit straight and never below the belt. Business, especially in gramophones, records and radio, is no ferret red occupation. It demands all your virility, resourcefulness, courage, and if you will only take the trouble to generously yield it, those manly qualities, success is a matter of service. Carry on this tradition. This is what you need to know. I give it to you for what it is worth. May this new year, season, bring you all, my friends, health, peace, and prosperity. Yours very truly, James T. Hoffman.